Hello everyone, this is Adel ben -Rmi from Ozone Engineering. In this video I will be discussing the new backtraining feature in the latest release of ANSYS HFSS 3D Layout 23R1. Backtraining is a technique used to remove excess via stops in high-speed digital circuits, which can cause signal reflections and degrade the performance of the circuit. Now before I demonstrate how the backtrail can be configured in the new release, let's start by examining uh, this example in the previous version of HFSS, the 22R2. Here we have a simple differential via. If I go and click on uh, this via here and open the path stack usage and definition in the backtrail uh, section, you can see that we can uh, only set the, uh, the backtrail uh, by specific layer. And uh, to control the depth or length of the backtrail, a workaround is to create dummy layers. Now let's go back to the new release, the 23R1, where we have more flexibility in setting the backtrail. And here let's say that I want to set the backtrail for the signal vias. So uh, the first thing to do is to select the vias, then I'll go to the pad stack usage and definition and open the window. Here in the back drill section, we can start from the top or the bottom. Uh, let's say I want to start from the bottom, so I select it here. Now if I click here, I can define the drill diameter, and as you can see, we can set the back drill by depth, by layer with an offset, or by a specific layer. So let's say here I want to specify the drill diameter to 600 micrometers, and I want it to be by depth. And here I'll use a project variable that I already defined, which is depth. I'll say OK and click OK. That's it, pretty straightforward. In this video, we saw how to set the back drill in the latest release. Note that the back drill may affect the impedance and signal integrity of your circuit, so it's important to analyze the results and perform simulations to ensure that the performance is not adversely affected. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.